All right, things dry, cool, and crisp, but we did get a little rain this morning. Yeah, some good rain, nice amounts, and it looks like as we go through the week ahead, we start to see more sunshine, but we needed that rain, boy, and we oh, yeah. got uh, quite a bit of it over the past two days. Uh, some of the bigger spots, again, La Jolla, close to almost an inch of rain. Let me show you the time lapse today from Lions Pick peak looking off to the east and all the clouds that kept coming through. This is right after most of the rain passed and yeah, you could feel it just after midnight and in through the uh, early morning hours looking live right now across downtown. What a great shot off in the distance. Beautiful sunset. Little breeze still coming through out of the west northwest at Limburg at eight miles per hour. 66 right now and sunset 456 with the time change. Hope you enjoyed that little change and that extra hour of sleep. All right, lots of 60s on there. A couple of 50s on the map right now, and it'll be a rather chilly night. 40s for the higher elevations, and we're just touching the 70s across the deserts. The breeze has been a little gusty at times, but right now the sustained winds are about 5 to 10 miles per hour. 7 for Chula Vista and 2 at Alpine. All right, the big picture is that storm has now made an exit. There it goes. The next thing that's going to happen. Two areas of high pressure, one just off the coast, one up to the north. As we go through the week, a third one builds over the Pacific Northwest. So all of the cold storms and all the nice cold air stays on the other side of those. So we'll start to get an offshore wind. The heat starts to build. We'll warm up every day this week through Thursday and it will be dry. So it's something we watch closely. I don't expect a Santa Ana event, but I do expect some dry Santa Ana winds. They won't be gusty, but they'll be with us. Here's where we'll go with wind future cast. That'll be the big story tomorrow. This is three o'clock in the afternoon. Notice the direction of the winds. And while it's not gusty, I really want to point out that it's a northeast wind as we look at future cast here. The time that does get a little gusty is Tuesday afternoon, about 20 miles per hour. Julian, 13 Borrego Springs. At the coast, we do have a bit of an onshore breeze, but most of us, most locations uh, out away from the coast, will have the offshore coming on through. So that's what's really going to warm us up. Okay, highs or overnight lows, 45 Poway, 57 San Diego. The highs tomorrow warming up a little bit. So tomorrow is our transition day. Still very, very nice. Mid 70s from the coast to the warmer spots inland. La Mesa at 74, same for Santee. Not much warmer at the coast. So pretty uniform with our temperatures. And we're known for our microclimates where the coast is always cooler and warmer inland. Not so much as we go through this time of year. Only about 74 for Escondido, 72 at Oceanside. Across the deserts, we will manage some upper 70s to near 80s. And across the higher elevations, mostly 50s and low 60s. So as we continue through the seven day forecast, notice we start to warm back up quite a bit by Wednesday and Thursday at the coast. We're in the mid 80s with overnight lows into the 50s. Your inland numbers will continue to come back up. 90s are back in the forecast. We're at 70s tomorrow. We jump up about seven degrees or so on Monday. Thursday and Friday is when we get back to the uh, 90s. Your seven day forecast for the mountains and the deserts. We're back to the 90s as well across the deserts. So, you know, Preston, <laughs> by the time we get to the end of the week, the deserts and the inland locations are all going to be in the 90s. That's yeah, a big change. Big change. Yeah, it's going to be hot. God, what it looks like with the time change like this. That's right. Yeah, it gets dark early, right? Yeah, Hope like you enjoyed the extra sleep. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was tired, more tired than I normally <laughs> was, true. which doesn't make much sense. That's true. <laughs> Thanks, Greg.